Hello everyone, this video will introduce to you how to enable or disable the RTPCN trigger function by modifying the configuration file in PBX. This solution is suitable for scenarios where the PBX needs to send or disable RTPCN for hole punching after the PBX is deployed behind the router or firewall. First, the administrator needs to log into the WebGUI page of PBX. Go to the security page of the system to enable SSH, and then copy the random SSH password. Then, log into the SSH port through a terminal tool. In this video, we use the PuTTY tool. Next, enter the directory where the source pgsip.conference is located, copy the, endpoint basic, contacts to notepad. After completing the copy, enter the slash disk slash support slash custom cfg slash directory and create the pgsip underscore custom.conference file. At this time, press the key I and paste the copied contents, and add a parameter rtp underscore keep alive. One means RTPCN will be triggered by default, zero means RTPCN is prohibited. Remember to compare with the configuration example in a video to ensure that the configuration is cons- Finally, enter the command to restart the module to make it effective. Could enter the directory where is the source pgsip.conference file to check if the modification is successful or not. The above is how to manually enable and disable RTPCN configuration on PBX. Alright, guys. This is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting, check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.